Severe flooding ravaged parts of southern Alberta, including the city of Calgary and the community of High River. Initial estimates peg the cost of the damage to the province at about $5 billion. City of Calgary alone is expected to spend upwards of $400 million to restore infrastructure. Members of the Calgary Construction Association have played an important part in helping clean up and rebuild the city. Most people just pitched in to help out any way they could. And obviously as, an, as a construction association and construction community, we have a lot of equipment and, and talented people that, uh, that fit right into helping out. Emergency reconstruction, most of it in terms of infrastructure was washed out, bridges, the abutments, re-backfilling and, and paving, getting roads back open, cleaning out LRT tunnels. A number of our members were down at the Stampede grounds in Saddle Dome trying to get that back into shape for Stampede. So there was a kind of a two to three week period there where, where everyone was very focused on just getting the city back up and running, the downtown core open, uh, that, that type of thing, and, and repairing roads and, and, uh, and bridges. Then I would say the third phase of the impact now has been onto more of the infrastructure, for example, the zoo or some of the office buildings downtown where they were affected directly and had to be shut down and refurbished. From a supplier pers perspective, uh, we're there now just starting to feel the uh, the crunch so to speak so if you could picture people you know manning the pumps so to speak to bail out their basements and uh, or their buildings getting things stabilized getting things up and running now they're they they're starting to rebuild so there's sort of a been a pressure that we're hearing um, anecdotally through our suppliers that uh, that there's uh, been a quite a bit of an increase in demand for things like drywall or, or lumber obviously paint and flooring goods, um, whether it be uh, commercial or, um, or for residential. So, so certainly we've got our contractors, but our suppliers are also very busy as well. I'm just so proud of how uh, Calgary as a community, first of all, pulled together and uh, dealt with things that needed to be dealt with, and whether it's you know, bringing people into their homes, whether it's uh, companies volunteering to help uh, get people back in their homes or get businesses back up and running. It was, uh, it was quite remarkable just to see how that came together. And, uh, you know, our industry can be very competitive at times, but we're also uh, friends, even if we compete against each other, whether we're general contractors or, or trade contractors. It was really great to see how we we all banded together to help out and there was there was uh, you put aside your company interests and your personal interests and it's about uh, first of all stabilizing things here and then and then the rebuilding effort and uh, in a very nonpartisan way so very very proud as a CCA chair and as a CCA member and as a, as a member of the construction community I, I think we collectively did an outstanding job for the Journal of Commerce, I'm Bradley Fair in Calgary, Alberta.